sunshine returns across Scotland, showers though through England and Wales, and temperatures still. <laughs> and if anything, I'm putting more clothes on because news just in, it has been the UK's coldest winter in 31 years. Wow. Hasn't it felt like it? But what a difference a change in the month makes. Now, this was yesterday, the last day of February. All that cloud around. This is the same weather system that caused that destruction in Portugal, Spain, France, gave us some very heavy rain. It's cleared away to the Baltic now. What we're left with for the rest of today, and indeed tomorrow, something very different, the ground lit up golden by the sunshine. So let's savour that, shall we? Belfast a short time ago, well-broken cloud and sunny spells. I'll take you to Manchester, the same story, just some fluffy cloud around. And on the east coast in Hull, barely a cloud in the sky. And for most of us, it, it's looking like that this afternoon. Just to spell it out, then, if, in case you haven't got the message just yet, it's dry and there's a good deal of sunshine around, and we'll do it again tomorrow. It's a shame it didn't come for the weekend, but here it is. Three o'clock this afternoon, some wintry showers in northern Scotland, giving some light accumulations in northern Isles. One or two coming into northwest England, Lancashire coast and over the hills, but very few and far between. As we come south, we have the sunshine. Bit of high cloud into southern counties, turning it hazy, but 10 degrees in London with just a very light breeze, bang on where it should be for early March. How often recently have we seen a tour around the country where the weather has been so quiet? Not recently, but let's enjoy it. Some high cloud in the southwest, plenty of sunshine in Wales, but a fluffy cloud here and there. Similar as I mentioned in northwest England. For Northern Ireland, the odd shower along the coast of Derry and Antrim, but elsewhere some good sunny spells. So the weather's changed at least by day, drier and brighter, but overnight it is more of the same. And that means with clear skies and light winds, those temperatures drop away. It will be a widespread and sharp frost. There'll also be one or two fog patches around, especially central and western parts. Not a widespread problem, but the odd one there, where you pick one up, it'll last well on into Tuesday morning. Once that's gone, though, Tuesday's another fine day. Just look at the extent of that sunshine. Just one change in the west, though. A bit of clouds starting to spill in ahead of a weather system coming our way from the Atlantic. Temperatures, though, pretty similar with just uh, light breezes at around 6 to 10 degrees. Now, that weather system from the Atlantic will start to show its hand on Wednesday. This is just a blip on Wednesday, but some rain and some hill snow into Northern Ireland. Some rain also to parts of Wales and southwest England. Elsewhere, more cloud and a freshening breeze. But this doesn't last too long. And for Thursday and Friday, it clears away, leaving further fine weather by day. But again, those frosty nights. Bear in mind also later in the week, it may be generally fine by day. Just some rain starting to edge into northern Scotland. But there will be a stronger easterly wind. So it's still feeling quite chilly by day. But it is drier and bright. Really cold there this morning. But temperatures have recovered in the sunshine for them and indeed.